Yeah, I really can't believe it's only a year to the games already. Um, yeah, it always comes around so fast. So uh, for, for the London cycle, uh, you know, I was just, um, you know, between London and Rio, I was just a sort of spectator in, in London. I'd started fencing, but not internationally. So Rio seemed like, you know, miles away, but came around so fast. And now having kind of a full four-year training block between Rio and Tokyo, uh, I thought it would be the longest time, but it's already gone incredibly fast. <laughs> so it's so hard to believe it's already only a year to go. I mean, it's, it's quite exciting. It's a bit daunting that it's come around so quickly again, but um, if I compare myself to where I was uh, four years ago, I'm really excited uh, for this. I'm, uh, in my opinion, in terms of my fencing, I'm, I'm, I'm at my peak at the moment and trying to improve as much as I can. Uh, and I'm interested to see how, how I can tackle next year uh, and, and all the competitions that come with it. Normally I am quite good at it, but I'm finding as it gets closer, it's, it's harder to put, to put Tokyo out of your mind just because of how big, and how big it is. And, uh, I mean, everyone, everyone who fences uh, kind of only can only dream about going to the games. And for me, it's it's such a great opportunity uh, and one that I've worked really hard for. Um, but again, that kind of prospect brings a lot of pressure with it. So I'm trying to I'm, I'm working out how to deal with that pressure as well as I can. I have, I've competed in Kyoto, um, but not uh, yet Tokyo. Um, so yeah, like I'd really like the opportunity to you know see, see what it's like. But for us competing last year in, in uh, Japan really gave us a good idea of what to expect from the environment and the culture. Because um, I think you know uh, competing at Paralympics is so much more than just the initial performance. You know, there's the, the whole environment of you know living in that environment for a couple of weeks. So I think learning as much as you can really makes a big difference in your preparations for games. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the season, really grateful, and uh, we've had a great team of coaches to help with that as well. But then again, it's like, how do I improve it even that much more uh, compared to, to how I have been uh, in the last couple of years to really try and get myself in the best form possible for Tokyo. But I use that as, uh, as a bit of a confidence booster when I need it to, to try and like, really drive myself forwards with, with the training and the competitions.